Hi, I'm Shane Molander, Director of the State Archives at the State Historical Society of North Dakota. Today, we're going to talk about newspapers. Newspapers are something that we collect here at the Historical Society. It's been a state law since 1905 that if you publish a newspaper in North Dakota, a copy has to come to the State Archive. What we've done is microfilmed them for preservation. There are 78 weekly newspapers published in the state and 10 daily newspapers. So we get newspapers in every day. Let me show you exactly what we do with the newspapers uh, here at the Historical Society. We have standards on how we microfilm. It's supposed to have a longevity of 500 years. Digital files can be corrupted if, if not properly maintained. So the microfilm is a safe way to, uh, to preserve. What you're really doing is taking a picture of it and then putting it on film. And that film to be seen or read, you just need some light. So a hundred years from now, that information will still be on that film just as it was when it was filmed. This is actually the film it was creating coming out of that processor was a master negative. And then what we do with that is make a positive copy for the public to use. And so that's what this is. This is a vesicular film. If this gets lost or damaged, we can just make another copy off of that master. So the thing about microfilm is you really have to know the dates of what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for an obituary, for example, you're going to want to know that death date and a place where they were so you know what newspaper to look in. This is where we store the original newspapers after we film them. Here, for example, are Bismarck Tribunes that have been filmed and we don't throw them out right away. If there's a photograph or something that somebody finds that's on microfilm and they can't find it anywhere else, they can always go back to that original newspaper and find that photograph and get a better copy of it off of the actual original paper. So we have the newspapers. We've microfilmed them, stored them, made copies of the film for people to use. But the latest thing we've been doing the last few years is digitizing the newspapers. And with this machine, we can do this in-house. Obviously, by processing the microfilm, digitizing it, uh, and running the OCR on it, you're able to search uh, just by typing in a word, and it'll pick out that word, which makes research much, much easier. So this is Chronicling America. This is a program that we've been in. Uh, we have over 400,000 pages in this, and this is a project by the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Library of Congress, to digitize newspapers from all of the states and territories. Another site that we have, this one is called Advantage Preservation. Stuff that we're digitizing, we are having put on this site. Well, thank you for visiting the State Archives today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and visit our website at history.md.gov.